Come on down, million. Shermillion. It's okay, you don't have to know my last name. The last guy that introduced me at an open mic just looked at the list and was like, yeah. Give it up for Sad Bob Ross. And uh, I feel like that's a branding that I can just take for myself and roll with. Sad Bob Ross, I could do that. Let's just paint a sad little tree over here. Doesn't matter where, decisions are futile and life is meaningless. I'm just gonna, let's get the nice thick brush and just coat it deeply in black paint. Just get a real nice coat of paint on there. In long strokes, we want to cover the entire canvas, top to bottom in black paint. Just solid black, like the void inside my heart. There are no happy accidents, only sadness. No, you don't think that could sell? I think it could. Do you guys know you can watch all of Bob Ross's stuff on Twitch 24-7? And because it's on Twitch, a lot of the viewers are like these 15-year-old kids who don't know who Bob Ross is. They don't know it's not live. They think he's like a guy who's streaming. And some of these kids will have like breakdowns in the chat. They'll be like, Bob, I just, I don't really have any friends to talk to. I'm like, I think I'm gay. And my parents, like, they don't understand. And somebody had to be like, hey, sorry, I hate to tell you this, but this is a, this is just a channel that replays a show from the 90s. Bob's been dead for 20 years. It's, it's, it's both funny and horrible at the same time. I really recommend it. This is not even a joke. It's just a real thing you should check out when you're done here. <laughs> oh, boy. Cool, you guys are into it tonight. I'll take a challenge. So I have a weird name, because uh, I'm not from around here. I was born in Serbia. Um, you guys are like, Borscht? Cold winters? No, that's Siberia. Serbia is like dudes in track suits sitting like this, smoking cigarettes. You have genocide, human trafficking. That's, like, that's the stereotype I wore on. Yeah, I, uh, it's uh, like, it, Serbia's kind of like, I try to explain it to Americans as like the like Alabama of Europe. It's in the southeast. There's a big city in the middle with a lot of like culture and really interesting intelligent people and then you go like 50 miles out of town and it's just going 100 years back in time. You know, lots of good barbecue and like really good backyard booze and just the like people who are really nice to your face but like the close, most close-minded racists on the planet ever in history. I, uh, where I'm from, it's so racist. We're all white, and we still found a way to kill each other over it for like 300 years. We've been murdering each other over racial division since when the Romans showed up in like 500. I, uh, it's like, here you guys have a modern government built on institutional racism. Where I'm from, we have racism older than government and institutions, you see. <laughs> And it's sad, like, when I was born there, it was a country called Yugoslavia, and it was destroyed uh, by genocide. Which is a bummer that, you know, my homeland was destroyed by genocide, but at least it wasn't, you know, built on them, like some fucking people I know. I, uh, yeah. oh. <laughs> all right. <laughs> okay, no one reads history, that's fine. <laughs> we're all, we're all absolved. Now, growing up uh, as a foreigner, I've never really felt like I was part of an in group anywhere around here. Like, at this point in my life, my preferred pronouns are me and us. You know, just so I can feel like I'm a part of something for like a minute. <laughs> First time I ever felt like I found my culture, like I found my people in America, like I started smoking weed in high school. Like, and that was like my thing. I was like a stoner. That was like my, my jam, my group. Uh, until I got, uh, you know, it started to get legalized. And, you know, the first time I went into a weed, legal weed shop, it was like, uh, the first time like a goth from the 80s went into a Hot Topic, like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> you guys took my culture, my people, my life, and you turned it into like, if an Apple store listened to Sublime for too long on the in-store music and just had like a horrible transformation under the full moon. <laughs> And the worst thing about legal weed is now I don't know anyone who sells mushrooms anymore. Like, if I want to go camping, I have to deal with actual criminals, or worse yet, deadheads. Yeah. Thank you. We'll talk later. <laughs> but no, Grateful Dead, the deadheads, they just put, like, the Grateful Dead is the musical equivalent of if someone were to come up here tonight and just tell you setups for like two and a half hours straight, not a single punchline the whole time. <laughs> nice. I'm gonna guess you guys. Little by little, you're turning to my side. <laughs> oh man. Yeah. What else were we gonna? Uh, so we all. That's, uh, we're all comedy fans here. Everyone knows about how Dave Chappelle is kind of an asshole again now, right? He keeps talking about how trans people aren't really people, and 
I'm always blown away by transphobes and like homophobes because they'll all come back to the argument of like, well, it's not natural. Well, neither is being able to buy apples 365 days a year in the middle of a desert. But you go to Albertsons, they got them for fucking two dollars a pound. Give them an extra dollar a pound, they'll fucking give you the ones they didn't spray with poison. It's, yeah. Like, I mean, I don't know. I used to work at a grocery Ow. store, and sometimes I still use like a trick. Like if I'm ever nervous in front of a crowd, you know, they tell you to picture people naked. Um, I just like I do a thing where like it, to make myself feel like I'm strong and superior. I, I just imagine like the dumb fucks I talk to at the register at Trader Joe's every day when I work there. <laughs> like, is this butter gluten free? It's butter. You know what I mean? Like, I just. <laughs> I get mad for dumb things, man. Like, I don't think I'm a very good person on the inside. Like, I'm trying really hard. I understand what I should be doing. Uh, but I'm, all, I'm using all of my energy and just barely maintaining it like a nine asshole. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not actively ruining anyone's day. Like, I call it being chaotic woke. You know, like, I know in my head that it's wrong to wish pain and suffering on other people. I know I shouldn't take pleasure in idiots who die of COVID when there's a perfectly good vaccine around. And, but like, the heart wants what the heart wants. You know what I mean? <laughs> oh, man. Is that it? What else do we have? That's it. I don't have any more jokes. I'm sorry. Yeah. 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 Yeah.